y'all knew I was going to talk about these messages, right? <laughs> y'all knew I was going to talk about the, the, the text messages. All right, y'all? Um, if you're brand new to my channel, I'm Tammy. This is Tammy Talks. I break down TV shows one recap at a time. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If y'all are back rocking with me and y'all still rocking and rolling with me and rolling and rocking with me, hit that subscribe button, y'all, okay? So... <laughs> these text messages, all right? So Jackie has turned out to be the ultimate villain of the show. But that's fine. That's fine. That's what you wanted, girl. We're going to give it to you. So Jackie apparently has a, it's called a business chat with her and some of her friends. I believe it was two other ladies in the chat. One of them has since, um, I guess since the, the like May 1st, I'll call it. I don't know. One of them has recently stopped being cool with Miss Jacqueline Bonds, okay? So she has decided to release the text messages kind of exposing Jackie. I don't care how far I fall out with somebody I was once cool with. I would never, ever, 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 ever embarrass you like this. I would never. Because karmic comes back too quick, baby. I just, I can't. No part of me would ever do this to somebody that I'm no longer cool with. But let's talk. So first we see this picture um, that was taken May 1st, 2022, showing that Jackie ultimately ended up with Josh, which is why I, I waited to, which is why I waited to even talk about this. I don't like spoilers. I don't like spoilers. I know people say you can't spoil reality TV. Sure you can. I'm not a spoiler type of girl, so I wanted to wait to see these, but you know, y'all, y'all bombarded me with it. <laughs> so this was um, apparently leaked, so we knew that her and Marsha weren't going to make it. But so then we get into a slew of text messages. So I got the screen grab here. Now, let's see. I'm going to pull it up on my iPad so I can see it as well. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to read it with y'all. So, throughout throughout the course, and this is from this is from um Instagram where I saw these, but throughout the course of this text message situation here, we find out um that Jackie has been like trashing Marshall. Now, I know a lot of people feel that we're we're giving Marshall um, a lot that we're not giving Marshall enough. Um, I mean, I don't know what y'all, <laughs> I don't be knowing what people want. You know, like, I feel like there are people that say, oh, we're doing too much with Jackie and, and everything else. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So this, so these, within these text messages, right? Let's see if we can get it slow. So first and foremost, let me move it over for y'all. It starts off with Jackie asking these two women if they can come to her bachelorette party, right? So as of April 26, for all intents and purposes, Jackie is claiming that she was going to go to this bachelorette party. She was going to go through with the wedding. Her friends are excited for her. Um, Jackie said, it's our time to shine. I said, oh, yeah? Okay, I don't know if, I don't know if he's shy. I don't love his blind, but... You want to go ahead and shine, and go ahead. She's asking her friends to come dress shopping with her. Um, they can't because, you know, people work during the week. Married um, Love is Blind is wanting to do everything during the week. Probably cheaper. So then it turns into her friends asking what time, yada, yada, yada. These are when she has call times. Um, they're excited for her. Jackie seems to be excited. Again, this was what, April 26th, okay? So then we get conversation about what time is the wedding? When is the wedding, y'all? You know, trying to judge if I need to take off or not. You know, if y'all got a, a 10 a.m. wedding, I got to take off. Y'all get married at about four, you know, I can make it. You know, maybe a half day situation, okay? So Jackie said that, um... I'm sorry. The friends are going back and forth talking about, you know, no one's going in sober on Wednesday after a bachelorette party. Girl, just take the whole week off. Do a bit. Plan on being on TV, you know. And this is the friend we're talking about. So then, no, th this is all the same day. 
Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. I did not see a date change. Did not see a date change. So we are to assume within the same day that this conversation happened with Jackie asking them, come on down, come on, oh, come down to the bachelorette party and to the wedding. And now it turns into he gives me vibes, y'all. I said, not a vibe. Get into it. Let's talk about it, Jackie. What vibe is he giving you? So she said, and I kind of hinted at that in my interview, and all hell broke loose. Lose and loose whoops your ass constantly. And I don't know why you would not know the difference between lose and loose. Isn't Jackie a dental assistant? If somebody, I had braces, okay? Loose brackets are a thing. So if somebody comes in with a, a loose bracket, is Jackie writing down loose bracket? Just questions, questions I have. Um, She said, so I had to like switch it up. But he for sure gives me vibes because he used to twerk on the bed. Jackie is saying that Marshall gives her a vibe, Okay. So she said he used to twerk on the bed. So her friends are like, not twerk on the bed, honey. <laughs> What's going on here? So Jackie is saying, but he for sure gives me vibes because he used to twerk on the bed. And I told him I was cool off that. Okay, that's not what I want over here, player. That's not what I want. And he was like, yeah. So now... This time, I told him to be more aggressive with me. He's hard for sure, but sometimes he can be sweet. So here's the thing here. There are a lot of people saying that Marshall gives them a gay tease, right? Now, Marshall just seems very theatrical to me. Marshall seems very metro to me, right? When I look at Marshall, I don't see a gay man. I don't. Marshall does not give me sass or sugar in the tank or whatever, however y'all want to say it. He just doesn't. We have to stop associating men that are emotional, men that are a little more sensitive, men that are very in tune with their emotions and have high emotional intelligence with being sweet, right? So she said that he's hard for show, but sometimes he can be sweet. So her friend said, twerk on the bed, L-M-F-A-O. Here's the thing. Do I think that Marshall might have twerked on the bed? I do. Just because the way Marshall was acting when they first met, right? Marshall just seems like a very performative man. He does. You know, he did the whole, ah, ah. ah. He seemed, you know, was Marshall in, in theater? Like, we need more deets on Marshall. But you can't say in one moment he's hard, but then say he's sweet. So which one is it, Jackie? Which one is it, Jackie? Which one is it? So her, oh, no, wait, stop. Oh, man, I don't want to have to go back. Okay. So one is like Jackie dead emoji, okay? Good for you. Also for communicating how bad of a turn off that shit is. What the hell? Uh, kudos to Jackie. Golf clap. Yes, if something is to turn off to you, if you don't like something, tell that man directly and be done with it. Don't go run and get in your group chat and embarrass or, you know, try to... I just feel like if I'm talking to a dude and he does something I don't like, the last thing I'm going to try to do is shit on him to other people. Address it and move on, right? So, another friend um, is saying those light-skinned ones can be a little sweet sometimes. No, it's it's a kiki. We're laughing. Jackie said, yeah, he will twerk on the bed. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to fly, big homie. And then he will talk like, yes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. so I don't have an excuse for the yes, Marshall. <laughs> I guess I don't know. And I'm not trying to make excuses for Marshall. But I, I, I look at things, you know, a couple of different ways. There are a lot of men that will do that when they're playing with their, their girlfriends, their wives. Do I think that Marshall is out talking to other men 
or other women saying yes or stuff like that, I don't. I also feel unless you have video proof, because Jackie has proven herself to be a liar and a cheater, it's very, very hard to believe anything that you're saying, Jacqueline, or Jack a liar, as somebody said in my comments. Shout out to you, okay? So she said that's the damn truth. She then goes on to say, I don't want to hear y'all at the wedding talking about how he got sugar in his tank either. Plas. I'm assuming she meant please, but we know that she's spelling is not her strong point because we had the lose and loose situation. But she said plas. So you, you're going to sit up here and tell your friends that this man got a little sugar in his tank. He a little sweet. He a little sassy. But then you're going to say, but don't say it though, y'all. Don't, don't, don't be at the wedding. And, you know, pull it out. Just, you know, keep it in the tuck. Jackie, you sound silly. This whole entire conversation, you don't have paper trails. What is wrong with people? So, one friend is like, no, got to make it to the altar. Jackie says, we got to stretch it for TV. We got to stretch it for TV. So, in Jackie's mind, now, word on the curve, people are saying that throughout the entire process, she has been dating Josh. She's been messing with Josh the entire time anyways, which is why I said before, Josh was at that damn party because ja um, Jackie invited him there. Nonetheless. So she's then saying, I can hear Mackenzie yelling, he's a teapot. I said, oh, not a teapot. That's a new one. That's a new one. So then it becomes stop. You know, I like this gym. The Golden Girls was a good key key right there. So they're laughing. So then a friend says, I love a bowl of fruity pep. She said petals. You know, her friends are just stupid. Everybody is stupid in this chat. Fruity pebbles. Maybe she buys off-brand cereal. I don't know. Maybe it's the store brand. Maybe it's fruity petals. I didn't eat fruity pebbles as a child. You know, they, they're too small. They look like a choking hazard to me. More of a Fruit Loop type of girl when I eat cereal, right? So then she goes on to say, excuse me, fruity, woo, we haven't had sex in like two weeks, okay? She then goes on to say his, his member, we'll say member, is too big and plus I got a yeast infection. PSA, yeast infections are very normal for women, okay? So we are not going to judge Jacqueline. For that, we're going to encourage her to, you know, eat more yogurt in her diet, maybe lay off the dairy, and then, you know, more healthy diet choices, okay? But on the flip side, like, why are you telling your friends you got a yeast infection? I, I just, so, here's the thing. Jackie said we don't have sex on the show, but now you're saying y'all haven't had sex in two weeks. But girl, I mean, hell, if you got a yeast infection, why the fuck would he want to have sex with you anyways? I also heard that he found herpes medication in her bag, allegedly, 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 that he found herpes medication, maybe a Baltrex or something like that, um, in her luggage or in her bag. And that's why he ceased all, you know, contact. Because you can't get rid of that shit. And what we not going to do is you're not going to give me something I can't get rid of. You ain't going to give me nothing. But don't give me something I can't get rid of. Okay? So, then it becomes, I, I, I can't promise that honestly, truly. So, one friend is saying, I can't promise that I'm not going to tell everybody that, you know, you think your, your, your fiance got a little sugar in his tank. I can't promise that. What? But see, and this is why you don't put shit like this into a, a, a text message thread. Why is it called business chat? There are just so many questions that are going on about this. So, it then turns into, y'all going, oh, uh-oh. We lost it. It then turns into, y'all going to burn in hell. I don't film tonight, so let's grab drinks and tea hoes. I'm off at four. I miss y'all for real. We need to catch up, yada, 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 whatever else was going on there. Jacqueline, this is not good. 
this is not good. One, I, uh, does it make Marshall look bad? Sure. Sure. You know, it does make Marshall look bad. It does, it does make Marshall look away. I'm not going to say that it doesn't. Marshall has since responded. Did I save his screenshot? I thought I did. But I have so many screenshots on my iPad. But Marshall, Marshall screenshotted and basically told her, um... Mar Sorry, y'all. I'm going to just pull it up here because his name is Marshall Glaze, I believe. Mm, is it Marshall T. Glaze? I'm going to just pull up his Twitter account here. Bada boom. Okay. Oh, I think he deleted it. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Let me see. Y'all know I use a new thing to okay, let's see if I can share. My screen. Oh, here we go. All right. Can you guys? Oh, this is small. Okay. So, y'all see right here? Marshall said, The only sugar I got goes on those effing pancakes. So, Marshall said, Don't play on my top. Don't play on my head, G. Don't play with me. <laughs> I ain't sweet out here. I just, I don't know. To me, none of this makes Marshall look bad. It just doesn't. Because people are going to believe that he's gay or not, right? You can't force somebody to believe he's either way. Either you are going to believe that Marshall got a little sugar in his tank, or you are not going to think that Marshall got a little sugar in his tank. There's really nothing that you can do about that either way. But this makes Jackie look bad. This makes Jackie also look like she don't have no real friends. Jackie don't have no friends, y'all. Jackie doesn't have friends because I'm sorry, but no part. I, I, I am very confident that the stuff that I have told my friends would never come out. My friends are very confident that within me, the stuff that they are telling me will never come out. Ever. It's like Jackie just goes from bad to worse. I can't see what I can't wait to see what else comes out that makes her look like the grade A toxic trash ash, trash ash, trash as. I don't want to call her a B because I, I feel like that's a little harsh. But I just I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think about these text messages? I know some of y'all do believe that Marshall is um. And, and, you know, he enjoys the company of a young sir. We'll say it that way. How do y'all feel? Do y'all think that Jackie is, like, putting on for this? Do you believe the stuff that she said? How do you guys feel about these text messages even being leaked? Let's talk about it down below, y'all. Catch y'all in the next one because something else is going to happen. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, thumbs up the video.